Hello. This video runs through the process of creating an application in Microsoft Azure AD that will be used by the Pomari OpenID Connect for Clarity PPM product to enable single sign-on between Clarity PPM and Azure AD. Following videos cover how to install Pomari's OpenID Connect product and configuring Clarity PPM to use this application to enable single sign-on between Clarity and Azure AD. So let's go ahead and create an app registration in Microsoft Azure AD. So let's first log into Azure AD's admin center. And once logged in, we'll go to Azure Active Directory. Once there, we switch to app registrations and in apps registrations we'll create a new registration we can call this registration whatever we like so let's call it demo clarity ppm and once we've done that that's pretty much all we need to enter in this screen so we can just click on register Once we've registered, there's a couple of things that have been created. First is the client ID, so this value here, which we should copy and save for later for configuration of Clarity PPM. The second piece of information we'll require on the Clarity PPM side of things is the endpoint. So from an endpoint perspective, we need the OpenID Connect metadata document URL. So again, we'll copy that and save it for use later. OK, so in terms of continued configuration, you can optionally go into branding and you can set up a logo if you want to be able to access clarity from, say, a screen within um, Office 365. Um, but again, that's only required if you want to do that. In order, the basics for clarity PPM are uh, authentication. So if we go to authentication, we need to set up a couple of redirect URLs. So. The redirect URLs we need are for the Clarity service. So we need the Clarity host name. So I'm using ppmsql.pomari.com. And on that, we need a, a number of endpoints to, to satisfy or to resolve um, a number of the different servlets. So the first one is NICU SSO auth. The second one is PPM SSO auth. The third one is PPM SSO auth. And then finally, the last one is for the NSA. So 8090. Now, if you notice, in all instances, we are using HTTPS. And in order to do this, you must use HT your Clarity service must be using HTTPS. Once we've done that, that's all we need to complete on that screen. We can say save and then go to certificates and secrets. When we're in certificates and secrets, click on new client secret, pick the expiry time. So I'll leave it as a year at the moment and we'll just say clarity service. The name is irrelevant. It can be anything. Say add. And then once we've done that, we need to copy this new client secret key and save that for later use in when we're configuring clarity so from a basic perspective that's all there is to setting up azure ad for use by clarity ppm see the follow-on videos for information on how to install pomari's open id connect product and configuring Clarity PPM to use this application to enable single sign-on between Clarity and Azure AD. For more information on Pomari OpenID Connect for Clarity PPM, please visit our website or contact us by email at sales at Thank you for watching.